Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I can't wait to share the largest Costco haul that I've ever done. Let's get into it. Today is the biggest haul I've ever done at Costco at one time. It's holiday season coming up and things are flying off the shelf, especially paper towels. So if you haven't gone shopping yet for the holidays, now is the time to go. So I'm going to go ahead and go over things. Think prices have risen. So tell me in the comments what you think I spent on just this food right here. This is not our normal, you know, weekly food that we eat with our vegetables and lentils, but this will be a lot of our snacky foods to last us for a month or those times where we get in a hurry and just need a quick meal. So for the meal, I got non-organic this time. I do have organic in the fridge, but that's for like our tea and making like big goods. That went up to $7.40 this week. I got a Waterloo um, drinks right here. I gave up soda, but I still like carbonated drinks and I didn't realize, oh, until now I got the spiced apple. I'm not sure I'm gonna like this one, but We'll go ahead and try it. That was $8.78. And then I got these saltine crackers. Price for a pack of 12. It ended up being $6.59. $18.79. So they're tw about 20 bucks. So for these lemonades, they're organic. They're $5.99. Replaces the juices and stuff for our kids. Juice boxes went up. So I figured just buying some lemonade on, you know, to have on hand when they're thirsty. I don't have anything to make fresh. I got these mini strudel cakes. These are delicious. Actually, a funny story. They're $9.99 for a pack of six. I actually went to a local coffee house. I fell in love with them. I didn't know they were from Costco. And they were charging like $5 for a mini cupcake. And they said they were snooker doodle. I had no idea from there from Costco. I had no idea Costco sold these things. So about two for $10 because my son ended up dropping one. And I actually loved them. So I figured let me get the real deal cheaper. So I got a whole pack this time. So don't be scammed by those local little coffee houses, guys. Go just go to Costco. The big, the big expense <laughs> are these pomegranates. They're $17.69. My daughter will eat this in about a week. So um, she absolutely loves pomegranates and it's something that is healthy and she eats them like by the pound. So it is necessary to have this much and they're way better quality than what you get at the supermarket. Like I went to Stater Brothers, they're like a quarter the size, but they're still like $6.99. So at Stater Brothers, you get a quarter of the size for like $6.99 or $5.99 for just one. So for all of this, so instead of paying, instead of being three small ones at Stater Brothers for the same price, I got this huge container which will last our family for the entire week or longer. Okay, these grape tomatoes are my daughter's favorite, $4.39. These yakisoba noodles are really good. I love these and these were for about $14.99 uh, $14 and there's a pack of six. They're really easy and fast to go to. So I, I we've been going to Panda Express a lot, uh, like at least once a week, you can say. For that, that's a lot for us. So um, their prices went really up. So for our family, just to get two double entrees, it becomes like almost $30. So for 14, we can get, for about $15, we can eat in a comfort our own home. There's six of them. So our whole entire family can eat them. They're vegetarian. The uh, Beyond Orange at Pan is really spicy for my kids. It makes the noodles spicy, so it's kind of just not a good fit for our family. So this makes up for that. I do like to buy organic cheese, string cheese, but they didn't have any when I was there. And so I got this one, and it's actually a better price anyways. It was $11.99. I absolutely love the quality of strawberries from Costco. I feel they like last longer, they're fresher. So those came out to $6.39. Strawberries go quickly. Kids love them. I can use them in like with pancakes or other little desserts for our kids after a meal. I'm not too big on uh, cereals, but every now and then we'll buy some. So it's $7.59 for a double pack for Lucky Charms. It's not an all the time thing. It's mostly when I'm tired. Uh, Goldfishies were $11.99 and there's three huge bags in them. So those can last as well over the month. This spinach ravioli is $12.99. It is RBST free cheese. Okay, mozzarella sticks. Again, we don't eat <laughs> like a lot of frozen foods. But when it's winter, my husband and I do like to watch movies when our kids are asleep and kind of have some snacky foods. And this falls into that category. So it was six forty nine. Six, I'm sorry, not six. I wish it was sixteen forty nine. And if you get like a seven piece uh, mozzarella stick over at Arby's, it can run like seven ninety nine, I believe. Uh, prices have gone up. So um, I absolutely love Arby sticks and I know my husband does like to take me there But when our whole family goes our build for all of us, it comes close to about $40 just for some snacky food So to kind of minimize our takeout bill, I thought let's just do it at home So I got these so this is what my freezer drawer looks like. This is a ravioli toy We'd like to get fresh and then ah, I can't close it right. Maybe I have to readjust it Okay, and then um, I just have some backup uh, vegetables 
some fries that my kids like I just got and then these are everything that we got and then these I give to my husband on the Uncrustables he likes them they actually serve them in the military so um, that's my freezer and now uh, let's go finish up our haul this um, pancake mix is about the same price as what Winco. I'm not sure if this is uh, bigger or smaller than the one at Winco. Um, this is $8.49. So what, for $8.50, you get 10 pounds. Bagels I also buy at Winco, and they're like a little under $4 for the Sara Lee, and then the Thompson are close to like $5 or $6. And there are they are $7.99 for two bags of six. Easy. I like to make them for my kids. You can put cream cheese on them. Oh yeah, and they were made fresh. They came warm when they were out there. So for the first time in a long time, I normally buy just a little small, uh, like almost like a sample size of coffee, but I do have a coffee maker. But I wanted to buy an instant, so in case those times I'm in a rush, and I can't use a coffee maker, but it'll last me. I'm not a big coffee drinker, but I do love to have coffee. And then I got this absolutely adorable, cute English tea container. It has 240 tea bags and that is $13.89. And I'm not a big tea drinker, but I do want to switch from chai tea to a little healthy alternative. So I thought I'd try this. These organic bananas were $1.99. Now I like to put these in our smoothies in the morning. I also got artesian bread. That was uh, $5.49. At Winco, one is about, I want to say $3.99. $9. 89 which is a great price because you get 10 pounds got these also these semi chocolates those were um 9.79 they're four and a half pounds which will last a long time so what do you think my grand total was for everything sorry i kind of threw everything oh i forgot to add the butter the butter um but oops sorry so the butter was about 14 dollars and some change so what do you think everything costs put it down in the comments and i'll tell you the grand total was tw not 26, I wish. <laughs> the grand total was $266.41. So that's how much everything cost. So for us, that wasn't a bad deal. And I know my kids really want to get to these little cupcakes. So we will see you next time. Bye-bye.